Hi, I'm Malcolm McDonald, ex number nine for Newcastle United, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Later than ever. Hi everyone, how's doing? Is Ari? So let's crack on. But we're going to be looking at the goals from the weekend in a little bit more in depth. Right, let's crack on. But the first one. So the one thing I want you to have a look at, and I'm sure you have seen it, but I'm going to bring it up anyways, is John Joe Shelby just bursting the gut again for what? I absolutely love it, and I think he needs to do it so so much more. He's got it in his locker to score more goals, and he should be. He really really should be getting double figures every season. Gale plays the ball over the top. Perez is running that left flank. The ball starts to come to Shelby on the edge of the box. I love what he does. He absolutely plays Maguire and Morgan. They both slide thinking that Shelby's going to take a shot. He's absolutely fooled him. Shelby but switches. It yes, to it gets a deflection of Ben Chilwell's elbow. He trickles it in the bottom of the corner. Shelby's first Premier League goal of the season. He scored earlier on in the FA Cup. And that was his second overall this season. 1-0 up. Fantastic start from Newcastle. Going into the second half... Scored a great lob by Perez, but let's go, let's reverse a little bit back. So, it's just a clearance, that's all it is. High in the sky, but watch Perez. Perez is so, so he's switched on, he's running after it. But what is Wes Morgan doing here? He's massive and he needs to stop Perez. And Perez just runs past him easily. If I'm a Leicester fan watching that, I'd be pretty disappointed in your captain. It's lazy, it's not good enough, but. To Newcastle's advantage, Perez spots Kasper Schmeichel off his line. I've said it already in a couple of other videos is that Schmeichel makes the decision easy for Perez, but Perez has got to go out and do it. On outside the boot, half volley, absolutely brilliant finish. Absolutely brilliant. As I say again, it's not the first time that we've lobbed a Schmeichel over the years. Newcastle go 2 0 up, fabulous finish. It is, you would think, almost game over. However, there was nervy signs when Leicester did pull one back. Now let's have a look at this. Damari Gray has the ball on over on the left flank. Number one rule, stop the cross. You've got to stop that cross coming in. Yedlin has to be tighter. Yedlin actually had a fantastic game, but on this occasion he should have got tighter. However, when the cross comes in, Paul Dummett or Chris Atsu, one of them have got to take control here because Okazaki is tiny. How how tall is he? What, five foot five? Five foot six? He heads it. Now, I'm not I have picked on Florian Lejeune in the player ratings video a little bit, but I think the head has going in anyways. But Lejeune is asleep anyway. In any case, Vardy taps it in. Even if Vardy doesn't tap that tap that in, I think it's going in anyway. So stop the cross and someone take charge of that when that when the header comes in because Okazaki should not be beaten at so and dumb it. One of them needs to be taking control. However, forget about that. Newcastle went on to win the game, which is absolutely fantastic. We climb up to tenth in the Premier League, which is brilliant. Roll on Arsenal. Arsenal have won six in a row. How oh, and let's bring them on. See you later. Bye-bye.